Around 25 million Americans have asthma, including about 1 million Michiganders. That's nearly 11% of our state's population. But the numbers are even higher in urban areas, particularly Detroit, where the condition is all too common. Detroit uh, adults are 46% more likely to have asthma than anywhere else in the state. And that, unfortunately, now translates to children as well. That's a serious health disparity, says Dr. Jira Legogo, director of the Michigan Medicine Asthma Program. Adults are four times more likely to be hospitalized there when you compared to the rest of the state. And children, uh, particularly those on Medicaid, are much more likely to go to the emergency room uh, for asthma when they are um, living in the Detroit area. Those poor outcomes are happening despite decades of advancements in the treatment of asthma. The reasons are multiple, including increased environmental risks in urban areas, inadequate access to health care, and differences in education and health literacy. Legogo says a new focus towards personalized treatment could help improve asthma care in Michigan. We are always continuing to do studies to figure out how to personalize our treatment to each patient picking the right drug for the right patient while minimizing any potential side effects. And our future goal is really to achieve a state where we can help our patients achieve remission and have minimal asthma disease activity. Michigan Medicine was recently selected to participate in a nationwide network called Precise. It's a study that focuses on finding adaptive targeted treatments for patients with severe or uncontrolled asthma. It's one of Metro Detroit's real hidden gems, the Edsel and Eleanor Ford House.